to Natty Garage. In today's video, we have something that's so, so, so sick. We have an E90 M3 that I've been honestly waiting to get my hands on one of these for a while now. So a few goodies that were on this car that we did not expect when picking it up from the auction is these coilovers. I'm really hoping the coilovers are in good shape. S-T-X-T-A coilovers. What he said. Yeah. So <laughs> we looked them up. They're roughly about $1,800 brand new. So that is a very good sign. We typically like to sell our used parts around like 50 to 70% of, uh, you know, brand new retail is what we like to go for. So typically things like this will go quickly, better than OEM shocks. So super happy to see that. Obviously, we're gonna go ahead and mention the uh, room, the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room, bro. The, the elephant, elephant in the look, room. look at this elephant right here. The beast, here. the beast, the V8 <laughs> beast. I don't really know if any of the engine components got damaged. We're obviously gonna try to start it in this video, but I gotta remove all this stuff, make sure the oil coolers are all connected. Um, there's There was a little bit of an oil leak here somewhere. I think I, I think I pushed it forward. Yeah, it's not there anymore. <laughs> so we need to make sure it has oil on it before before giving its first crank. And we need to move all this stuff so the belt doesn't, you know. We'll be testing that shortly in this video. So that's pretty cool. So we got some coilovers on this car. This was definitely a track car. I don't know if you guys can tell um, on the door right here, it's got like a little, you know, what's a sticker right outline, here? Outline, like an outline of a sticker. Dirt outline, by the way. Yeah. Because if you go like that, it just goes away. It goes away. <laughs> it's actually a really mint car. Like me and Jonathan really saw mint. this car. It is absolutely mint. So the crazy thing in the insurance company we actually got this from was a specialized insurance. So that basically means I'm pretty sure it was the insurance he purchased on the track when he totaled it because your personal insurance will not cover your track cars um, when he totaled on the track. Thankfully, he got track insurance. He got the car covered. So yeah, good for this guy. I think he got lucky there. Uh, but anyways, well, not lucky that he got into an accident, but look at that he bought insurance. The next cool modification is the fact that this thing has- kind of Megan Supremo exhaust. So cool, cool, cool. I know the regular muffler is going for about, I think 100 to 200 bucks, sometimes 300, but it's kind of hard to sell. These, I was, I was honestly looking for one of these for my E91 M3 when I was looking for an exhaust system. So I'm super happy that we have it on here. Undamaged, unscathed, looks absolutely amazing. This also is an LCI. The rear end's absolutely perfect. PDC bumper, LCI taillights, LCI trunk looking absolutely amazing. Only 88,000 miles. I think that is the best part. If you can get this engine turned over, running and driving, it's gonna be pretty sick. I think the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do actually guys, is actually remove the coilovers because we have a customer wanting it right now before we even had it listed. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get those off first. Metal skip plate, you see that? Yeah, that's crazy. Kind of aftermarket metal, metal skip plate. Dang, it's bent though. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, I it's think it's for the track to protect the coolers. We'll have to see the rest of this stuff, how it's doing. We need to remove this crash bar and all that stuff. Obviously there's a lot of hidden damage. I don't know if you guys saw that frame rail on this side too. It is flat. Look at look this oil cooler. Oh my gosh, dude. How'd that get over here? <laughs> you hit it probably like right here. I don't, I think you might've hit a wall. Uh, oh, uh, dude, it's probably gonna bent see how bad that is. Yeah, it's like a side barrier. So to everybody who's gonna be telling us, you should have rebuilt this. It's so clean. You guys don't understand. That's the answer for you, bro. Yeah, the whole thing is bent, like really bad, guys. This one is just one of those ones where, yeah, it's a nice spec, low miles. Considering how expensive ENX M3 parts are, it's kind of like not worth it if there's really significant frame damage. Now, if it's just hood, bumper, that type of stuff, fender, it doesn't get as pricey, but when it comes to like frame job for this, and it's gonna be a salvage title, E9 M3. The parts prices are really expensive, but the salvage title M3s don't go for nearly as much as you would think they would. In this case, it's just kind of not worth rebuilding. So this one is a true, true parts car, unfortunately. That is the case. I'm slowly getting off these parts for you guys here. We already got someone who's purchasing the coilovers, so that is good. That, that was literally before we even got the car here to the shop, because uh, we noticed that coilover is when we picked it up from the yard. So we posted it up on our Instagram, and you guys were like, let me get it, as soon as possible. As long as it's good, we got you. So we had to verify, that's why the first side we took off was the side on the, the damage impacted side. Uh, let me show you guys how it looks. Thankfully, that was the side with the impact, so I doubt there's any damage with the rest of them. As you guys can see, no damage, looks absolutely perfect. 
top to bottom, no bends here. This top hat portion can flex. It has like that little joint thing. Yeah. So there's no damage to that whatsoever. Looks awesome. So yeah, these are these are $1,800 set. We're letting it go for a grand. We always do good deals on aftermarket parts here just because kind of hit or miss, you know? Yeah, like some of them are good quality, some of them are not. So it's like- So we always do a huge discount, you know, hook some of you guys up at the same time. We're always happy to see it because it's definitely better than OEM. Everyone likes to upgrade. And guys, about a few days later, the car is uh, looking more taken apart. So we have a bunch of junk. Everything we keep taking off this car just ends up looking like junk. So that is super unfortunate. Uh, but for the most part, this engine is looking pretty A-OK. -okay. That is the main heart and soul of this car. And so far, it's looking pretty good. We have a few buckled lines right there. Not a big deal. Actually looking pretty darn good. Um, this subframe is really tweaked. Everything obviously on this section is very tweaked. For the most part, there's still a lot of good parts on this car, which will be taken off here in a little bit. Now, in terms of this side, there's not really much left here. We did have the coilovers. We did already end up selling that. In terms of the doors are probably going to take off the shadow line trim away from the doors sell those individually because everyone loves a shadow line upgrade honestly guys these cup holders are brand new that is beautiful wow huh. money to put that in the e91 m3 <laughs> that looks gorgeous the inside there was nothing honestly here to begin with from the beginning the seats are pretty much stripped that seats from an e92 uh so yeah we still got a lot more things we got to take off this car but nothing really looks surface level, to be honest. On the rear end of this car, we went ahead and already removed the tail lights and the trunk, the LCI trunk with the LCI tail lights. This rear bumper is in absolutely immaculate shape. We're removing that as well. And that was sitting underneath that was this Magnaflow exhaust. Um, I believe this is just a uh, axle back. Megan Racing axle back though, right? Yeah. So this is just an axle back exhaust. Looking pretty good, no damage. Thankfully, again, no rear end damage, so that's all there. Um, the rest of the mid pipes are all over here as well, so. But yeah, typically on most cars, the engine is the bread and butter, but thankfully, uh, this is not the only thing that matters. Every little piece on this car, because it's an M3, matters. As you guys can see, the cluster is different, the shift knob is different, the dead pedals are different. It has a black headliner, um, all the black pieces there. It can either be for an M Sport or an M3, uh, like I told you guys for this as well. M Sport side skirts all little grills trim pieces little even these brackets right over here all m specific so yeah just looking at it doesn't look like a whole lot but there's a lot of little things that's going to add up and we'll be showing you guys that in a little bit all right guys so this is the next part of the video so right now it is early morning uh we got here me and erlon got here a little bit earlier than nor did today he had some errands to run but uh, we figured we'd play a little bit of a prank on him so erlon went ahead and bought something so erlon over here went ahead and uh, bought something to prank Nor with. Um, where did you get this, Lily? Dollar Tree, son. <laughs> Dollar Tree fake special. Fake camera. Fake camera. So we're gonna set this up in the office somewhere in here. We're thinking like maybe that little corner. He's gonna see it. Can you see that camera? He, he can, we have a camera right there. Thing is, he might not pay attention to it because we already walked in a while ago. Yeah. So it's not gonna reach us from right here because guys, there's a camera right there. What do you think? Where should we put it? I think right in that corner. So it's a fake camera, guys, that has like a little bit of like red light popping up. <laughs> it looks hilarious. I want to see people panic. I want to see people think it's like gonna be spying on me. Yeah. I'll just start recording him when he walks in too. I'll be like, yo. <laughs> step there, step there. I don't know how sturdy this thing is. Just step on the edges and you'll be fine because there's gonna be a lot more strength there. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Oh, is it not sticky? Oh, it's not sticky enough. Really? No, it's not sticky enough. Should I go like this? Ooh. Is it sticking there? That one sticks better. That looks okay, good. Okay, coach. That looks <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, let me get down. <clears throat> I made it. He's gonna notice it, bro. It's a freaking flashing yeah, red light. Yeah, flash pretty loud. How long does it last? I don't know, it's two AA batteries, so it should last. It should last a while, it's just one light. Wow, yeah. All right, guys, yeah, we'll, we'll get a nice little reaction for you guys, hopefully. Take care of the boys. Yeah. I dropped off the house bumper with Fonzie. I dropped off the garbage, so I, I, I call it for the places. A lot of us have them for free. You just gotta go to the right place, you know? 
And then they just said, we're not open until 11.30. I'm like, all right, I'll check that again later. I just will not pay that kind of money for a pallet. Because yeah. like, if you think about it, I need five pallets. I'm spending $56 on pallets. I'd rather get two beans for 50 bucks. That's just a better value. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Oh, what happened? Is that wrong with my face? No. You're cringing so hard, dog. <laughs> What's wrong? Cause I'm on camera? <laughs> yeah. What happened? I was just looking around, bro. <laughs> Look around. You put another camera here? <laughs> <laughs> Is that even real? <laughs> that just blinks. <laughs> There's no way you wired that. <laughs> what is that? Run on triple A's? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that shit looks pretty legit. That's pretty funny. Uh, I thought you were gonna notice it right away, and you walked over. Well, I, was, and, I, I don't look tall enough to order. I know, but it's flashing, so I was like, he's gonna see it right away. Oh my god, that's hilarious, dude. That's and then you legit. walked over there, and I was like, fuck, he's gonna see the camera recording. Oh yeah, so I saw the camera recording. I'm like, are we gonna film a video here soon? Like, <laughs> I'm not ready just yet. <laughs> oh man, that's kind of an L. Oh well. What do you think of the little prank? <laughs> It's not too shabby. Honestly, it looks pretty professional. For everyone watching this video, you guys know that's fake now, but for everyone that doesn't watch the video, that looks pretty legit. It does look pretty so legit. So I'm gonna keep that up there. <laughs> With the unless, unless you, did you borrow it or something? It's Erlon brought it. Erlon yeah, brought got, it? You got it from Dollar Tree for a dollar. That's a dollar? Yeah. He had 20 more of those. <laughs> slap it around <laughs> everywhere on the shop. That well, looks legit. It looks pretty legit, huh? I know, I was supposed to text Erlon when you got here and then I forgot, because I was like worried that you were gonna... <laughs> see it right away and then nah. <laughs> you walked over and saw the camera recording I'm like bro I'm over here thinking about the boys got them pepsis and stuff and then we're trying to prank me and whatnot yeah. so, <laughs> so since the last time we actually checked in with you guys we got a lot of things removed off the car pretty much the whole interior is out of the car we have the whole headliner out everything that we need from the interior other than the carpets we even got the fuel tank I mean the fuel uh sending unit the fuel pump all that good stuff got the side skirts off we stripped everything we needed from the doors like the shadow line trim that we wanted but we got the whole rear end right over there just chilling like a villain um and we did pretty much get literally everything else out i mean the whole undercarriage is completely stripped it's just ready to drop the engine and trans at this point we're probably gonna get to that tomorrow uh but literally everything else is done something else honestly we want to take as well is these quarter panels uh because people like me love to do those kind of conversions on like for example on my e91 m3 we have the wider arches that came from an e90 m3 so these are sought out for even people on e90 uh 335s that want to do a m3 conversion um they want these quarter panels as well so we're gonna go ahead and cut them off on both sides we actually potentially already have a customer for that side. We might as well just get this one out and just save it for ourselves. Engine's low-key coming out here soon, guys. Erlon's putting in that work to get that thing out. So this is the quarter panel, guys. We're gonna go ahead and store away. So now that we got this pretty much cut up, this is a perfect driver's side quarter panel. Um, so yeah, we'll get that taken pictures of, listed up, stored away. Now for this side, I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is just literally cut across from the center here. I think it's gonna be a whole lot easier um, than doing what we did for this one. We just did this that kind of method for this one because it's gonna be way easier to store. We don't want all of that up there. It's gonna take way too much space. So again, that being said, looking so far so good. Spin. Yeah, it's spinning. <laughs> since, since it's spinning, that means it didn't seize on the track, right? Yeah. That means it didn't lose it and seize. So that's what good. we'll do is we'll put oil in it later and we'll jump the starter. So that I'm way sorry. we'll put we'll jump the starter and just crank it. You see how it should just compression stroke. Chugga 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 chugga. Okay. That's why we hired this guy. <laughs> he does. He can do stuff that I didn't even know about. So that's gonna be pretty cool. We just want to see a little turn. As long as we can hear it turn. That's good. Um, so unfortunately we did find out something. If you guys can see right over here on the oil pan, 
Um, there was a little bit of an indentation because of the subframe got pushed this in. And because of that, I don't know if you guys can see this right down here. Very common that this place area right here just cracks. I don't know if you guys can see that crack right there. So that is a very clean crack just because of the pressure that was pushed on this. So unfortunately, the oil pan is cracked. That's one of the reasons why we didn't want to start it up. We noticed that there was a lot of oil leak. And I mean, thankfully it hasn't been started since it was totaled because the, the, the BMWs, they have that fuse that blows uh, every time it gets into an accident. Uh, so yeah, was running before the accident, cracked the oil pan. So now it needs a new oil pan. Um, let's just hear the starter and hopefully it'll be graving the Navy. Oh, also this probably caused the, uh, but it's what pushed on, as you can see, it literally perfect in the Yeah. Thing. So, yeah. yeah. So oh, that, yeah. the accident is definitely what caused this oil pan to crack. Um, so <laughs> it is what it is, but anyways. Let them know it's a dual sub system. So you have two drain plugs, right? So it barely cracked the front one. So that means that whole bottom reservoir probably still has oil. So it never, it's, it's really potentially would have never ran completely dry. That's yeah. true, that's true. So okay. that's good. So yeah, anyways, I mean, no cracks on the block. That's a really good sign, obviously. So yeah, I mean, we just have to remove everything else off the front end of this. We'll show you guys, obviously, the engine when it's fully stripped down, but the main thing is, let's just hear this thing crank over with the, with the, with the starter, Tricky McMobber. <laughs> so what happened out here, boys? Huh? What happened? Cut out. Coupe conversion. She's done. Coupe conversion, bro. <laughs> so pretty much this car is done. So if you guys look at it, it's kind of crazy. It's ready to be. Holy <laughs> moly. Bro, this door won't close for some reason. Uh, I wonder. <laughs> look at this, bro. So everything is pretty much out and about. You literally got everything else out. We saw fender liner over there. The suspension off. Engine train is chilling right over here. Uh, we haven't really done the whole starter thing yet because uh, we need to remove the plenum, so we'll do that a little bit later. Oh, I just realized we haven't mentioned that we got a forklift. Oh. Yeah, guys, so we ended up getting a forklift this past weekend. So now we can actually forklift uh, cars onto the trailer and dispose of the cars properly. Gets us a little bit extra money for recycling the uh, shell. Forklift certified. Anyway guys, if you can't tell, this is a work in progress. Uh, we just got this forklift like five, four days ago? Three, four days ago we got this forklift. This is our first car moving with the forklift. So it's a work in progress. Nor has been forklift certified in the past, like actually genuinely with one of his first jobs. Um, but you guys didn't know that, but he was. Uh, so pretty much, he kind of knows what he's doing. Right as I say, he kind of knows what he's doing, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Holy crap, guys. What is going on? Anyway, he's done it in the past. So, uh, it is a work in progress. We got the space. We're learning. So, bear with us. I know some of you guys are screaming at us right now, but it's all good. It's We're learning. We're learning. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, look at that crap. Any auto parts, baby. <laughs> Yo, no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> no way, dog. Yeah, I got that on video, bro. Holy oh, crap. <laughs> Did you try to get this on the trailer? Yeah. I'm stressed out, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But you didn't risk anything. You're dropping a car on cement, you know what I mean? A work in progress, my G. So the good news, guys, before we actually ended this video, we actually got an order on the DCT transmission that we just pulled out. This is actually going to Alabama, so uh, yeah. We're gonna go out and get this thing, uh, you know, packed away on this little pallet that we actually end up getting um, from that little toolbox we ended up getting from Harbor Freight. But anyways, works out perfect. Let's get the transmission on there, packed up, and sent out. All right, guys, so we already pulled, put the transmission into storage, but I guess we can go ahead and pull it out real quick. 
So as you guys can see, we already have it marked and everything. Sold pretty, pretty quick actually. I think it was only on sale for sale for like two days. Let's go ahead and move this thing over here real quick. That's a really good idea, John. <laughs> Not too shabby, guys. It's all wrapped up, ready to go. How many kilos is it? Kilos, I don't know. Pounds, it's probably gonna be like. And you, so and you got 50, it. You, you, you got these from Colombia. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see where we're going here. Alrighty guys, so we are here now. We are going to do the price breakdown for you guys on this E90 M3. So. What do you think of this car so far? Uh, so when getting it, we so the purchase price of this car was six thousand four hundred eighty dollars out the door with fees and everything. Sixty five hundred dollars. So <laughs> <You're pretty> much. <laughs> uh, so picking up an M three for sixty five hundred dollars, as this one was mint too. So like it was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Unfortunately, we found out that the oil pan was cracked. That was something that popped up out of nowhere that we were not expecting. Uh, the subframe was slightly tweaked on the bottom. That kind of like hit the, the bottom of the oil pan and cracked the oil pan, unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, the car was not ran since the accident, so uh, there should be no issues with this motor. Uh, and the oil pan, we might end up just getting a new one and replacing that for the new owner. But yeah, other than that, like no surprises. We knew we were getting ourselves into on this car. It was a really bad front end impact. But it was really mint. Like yeah, everything, was, everything else was good. It's it very. We found the previous owner. He tracked this thing. It was honestly very well taken care of. It was tracked, but like professionally. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> so it looked really it, like the paint was pristine. It looked like it was really taken interior. Care of. Was just I've never seen such good carpets in my life. I should yeah. take those carpets out. They're beautiful. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just carpet. We don't need the carpets, but it was just that mint. So anywho, sixty five dollars was the purchase price. We did end up selling some stuff locally. Uh, one of the things that kind of surprised us that we sold pretty quickly was the quarter panel. Yeah, the quarter panel we sold really fast. Like we chopped that car up in literally like a couple days after getting it. Like I said, <laughs> if we get a quarter, I was like, okay, all right, bet. It's the first quarter panel we ever sold. So you guys yeah, are here to see it, witness it. Our first ever quarter panel came off an E90 M3 passenger side, um, which pretty much led us to like, oh my God, we just sold the quarter panel. So we're gonna chop off the other one. And yeah. actually we have the other one for sale now. So if anyone needs a driver's side, <laughs> we got that. <laughs> anyway, guys, so pretty much we did the calculations with the purchase price what we have parts listed value right now parts listed value there's actually a little bit probably more than this because we have the trunk and the taillights as well that we did not sell mm. plus the door that we sold mm. stuff. can true. we just remember this now yeah. okay, okay it's okay we'll, we'll, we'll add it gonna... right now roughly we'll let you guys know roughly. yeah all right guys so the total parts value that we have listed up is twenty one thousand four hundred thirty seven dollars a nice triple and so it's pretty good it's, a, it's about triple profit quote unquote so that's pretty good. That's a good value for a car like this, uh, for the price we got it for, everything like that. Really, we cannot complain with that uh, total value. $21,000 worth of parts off of a $6,500 car is really, really good. It was smacked pretty good, but only at 88,000 miles. So everything is low mileage parts, which is really good. So I guess that's actually one of the selling points for us. If we had like 200,000 miles, we would have passed on yeah, a heartbeat, but it was, of low miles. it was a low miles. So that is good. So far after about a week or so, we've sold $1,500 worth, almost $1,600 $1, worth yeah. of items price wise. It's not too bad considering that it's December now. In December, everybody's thinking about Christmas, not really thinking about- Worst time to sell car parts. It's the worst time to sell car parts, to be honest with you guys. Everyone's so. getting Playstations and Xboxes for their yeah. you know pieces and all that Kids no one's buying stuff. yourself you know some nice shadow line trend exactly. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it makes it a little bit tough but to be honest we've already gone $1,500 worth so we're getting close to $1,600 $1, worth so we're getting close to breaking even uh pretty quick if we sell the engine we're looking really good and everything else straight profit, straight profit there, which so. is good so all right guys so some of the big ticket items that we got off of this car are the side view mirrors uh they are e90 m3 specific they are worth quite a pretty penny they were, as you guys can see they were folding mirrors and they were a shadow line trim and they were alpine white and they were mint. They were like actually mint, like no right. scratches or anything. So those are worth a pretty penny. We got the steering wheel, which is always worth quite a bit on these M3s. Another one that was kind of surprising for Nor, not so I was surprised, me. but he, he was like, dude, this is gonna work some good money. And I was like, what, like four or 500 bucks? He's like, nah. Like easily $800. $800 is the- uh, on sale right now, guys. It's on sale for <laughs> 680. We're actually doing a 15% off sale on our website right now. So if you guys wanna check it out, we're actually doing literally on fresh inventory M3, uh, I can't say the next car, but the next car is also an M car, right? It's the next yeah, video? Yeah, the next video, the next video. So that also already has a 15% off. So for those guys who don't want to miss that, check it out. First link down below. But 
So basically from $800 down to 680 is the, we're already priced at the cheapest. Yeah. Surprisingly. They're very, to be fair, the E90 specific leather carbon trim, very difficult Leather to carbon find. trim. It's leather carbon. So it is a very nice quality and it was near mint as well. So I know this will sell eventually. Yes, it's pretty expensive, but it's one of those items where it's pretty rare for the E90 and it's in mint condition. Somebody's gonna want it for their mint E90 M3. I put it in my E91 M3. It's yeah. just one of those beautiful it, touches. It is a beautiful touch. But anyway, moving on, we got some other big ticket items. The instrument cluster is always worth quite a bit on these. Cas key DME whole set. We typically sell them like that. We got the rear bumper, which was pretty much mint, a PDC E90 M3 bumper. Like I said, these parts are hard to find, so they might not sell as quick because there's not that many E90 M3s even made compared to E92, E93 M3s. So these parts are very specific, but for the right person, it will sell. With that being said, the quarter panel is worth quite a bit. I mean, it's the full quarter panel. Somebody who's got an accident is gonna wanna use this. Or just swap it, cut off their old one, swap this on, call it a day, weld it, paint it, good as new. We sold, we literally sold the other one, like we said earlier, two yeah. days after yeah, getting really, the car. So, really quick. yeah, so that's a super good, heavy, big ticket item. The next one is actually going to be the rear end of this car. To be honest, I don't really know what people put this into. Is it 335? They put these in 335s. Okay, so the rear end, typically we like to disassemble like the uh, the differential, the axles, the hubs, everything, including the subframe uh, for rear end accidents separate, you know, sometimes it's hit from the left side or the right side, but typically when we notice on eBay is that the whole rear end is being sold. So let us know down below, is that for 335s? Can you just like put in a 335 drive shaft or an M3 drive shaft straight into the uh, at 335 or yeah. M3 transmission. Kind of curious, I'm, I'm, I don't know, if, if that's the case, that's a pretty cool upgrade because you're getting a full M3 rear end. LSD, that's why LSD people buy them. So that, that makes sense, that makes sense. That's why people buy them. I but think, I'm still so. curious, is it a 335? So let us know yeah. down below, I'm pretty sure. The big ticket items right here, well, really just the engine. So quick little story, we actually found the previous owner on this. Oh uh, yeah. We found the previous owner, he, we found his Instagram. He's One actually a guys, follower of ours as well. Yeah. So yeah, that was super nice. He's like, there's no way you're hitting us up. I was like, oh well, yeah, bro, yeah. we bought your car, man. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we found the previous owner. He told us that the rod bearings had been done before. So we're gonna take his word for it. There's no reason for him to lie. Uh, with that being said though, it still had the crack on the oil pan itself. That is in the video. You guys will be able to see that. Typically with this many miles, rod bearing is done. These will sell for 8,000. But because it has the crack on the oil pan, we dropped the price. 1500 like, bucks, which basically in oil pans are going for like 800 to 1000. So if you already have an oil pan on your car and you just swap it over, that's an easy $1,500 you're saving. Plus, theoretically, raw bearings are done. So that's a solid motor to slap in, low mileage. Low miles, that's really low mileage to be honest. Yeah. The DCT, uh, typically they go for about that much. 1200 bucks. Around 1200 bucks. Not too bad for a transmission. Not, not bad for it, that's decent for a transmission. And then the power steering rack and pinion is also worth quite a butt. Quite a bit, <laughs> quite a butt. <laughs> quite a bit of money. $420 there. So yeah, it all adds up guys. Those so, are the big ticket items. There's a lot of little things. Everything on these cars or anything with a little M badge on it is worth, worth money. We do like to also mention two things that the something that surprised us that was very expensive and something that surprised us that was actually pretty cheap. Really cheap. Yeah. So we do like making that kind of stuff in these videos for those of you guys who end up finding, you know, one of these at a pick and pull and are thinking, hmm, what should I grab from this car that's worth so much no one ever thinks about? Yes. So the first item, and we're actually gonna, so the, the item that we believe is the most expensive, I mean, not the most expensive, but expensive -er than we thought it was. It was more expensive than what we thought it would be. That will actually have to be the rear end, not a smaller item, but because of the fact that people actually want it as a complete unit, and we're selling everything all together, um, that is considerably a big ticket item. Did not expect yeah. to have anything, that's over the transmission cost right there, and just the rear end of the car, mm -hmm. so people we typically think transmission engine is what we pay for the car, yeah, but not rear end. <laughs> not rear end. Not the typical we don't think about. So yeah. super happy to see that is a big ticket item. Now something that we thought was kind of expensive, but wasn't really worth that much. So we're not finding anything on our eBay page that kind of like stood out to us. But Jonathan just mentioned that we didn't list something on our Facebook account. We typically like to sell our wheels on Facebook. It just goes quicker, and especially in this case, it's not only really worth too much to ship because shipping each wheel is like a hundred bucks. This whole set of wheels, how much have you listed for? So I have it listed for 325. 325? They're, they're OEM E46 M3 wheels to be exact. So yeah. they're not even like 
E9X M3 specific. But, but they still, were on the M3. They were on the and M3. And we thought that that's going to be worth quite a bit. Because it's still an M3 set. You know what I mean? I thought at least 400 but honestly, not even getting anywhere close to 250 for the wheels. Which is really unfortunate because it has a good tire tread. Full set of wheels. Yeah, E46 M3. Bucks. They're a little bit beat up, but still, like, they're solid OEM BMW wheels. Good power coat. She comes out I good know. as new. Literally. So, I, that one was a little bit surprising. I'll go ahead and throw up the pictures what I'm talking about. But I like selling wheels. I know a lot about wheels. He knows it's a like, lot about He likes to my, flip wheels all the time. That's my bread and butter is the wheels. <laughs> that's all of our items we have listed on this car. Uh, it's pretty good. I think, you know, an easy triple on this one. It's a pretty good car. Uh, our next car is also going to be an M car, I believe, right? Yeah, so, so the next video should be another M car. So stay tuned, guys. That, that, one, that one, one is probably our most expensive or second to most expensive vehicle we've purchased on this uh, in our business so far. So stay tuned for that one. It's a very, It has a good front end. Which means you guys already know, there's gonna be a lot of good ticket items on that car. Check out our Instagram page. Give us a follow on Instagram. Oh, now you auto parts Instagram, guys. That's where you get the inside scoop. So. We always end up posting all of our goodies, modifications on there. We don't even honestly post a lot of our, our like, for example, oh, we, we get cold coolers. Ones. We got oh, coolers. We sold coolers, like, right we already away. already sold them. For a thousand for bucks. For a thousand bucks. I forgot. So. Just pretend that we we just see, forgot. We, only, see, we, we always forgot. <laughs> we only forget about this. We What's so crazy is any modifications we don't even put on our eBay page, we don't put on our Facebook page. We automatically just post it on our Instagram page yeah. because they go quickly. So for they those of you guys who are not following us on Instagram, make sure to follow us on there. If you guys want like bolt-ons, upgrades, we post only on Instagram those things because they just fly off the shelf. There's no reason for us to post it on eBay. Um, and those coilovers, for example, were what? Twenty two thousand dollars. So there was eighteen hundred dollars coilovers. We sold them for a thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. So, so we typically like to honestly do like fifty percent off on all of our aftermarket mods. So you know sometimes we have intercoolers that come in. They're like four hundred dollars intercoolers. We do two hundred dollars on them. Uh, coilovers. You know we just had a, a BC or KW KW yeah. set. They were like BC two grand. Set. Well, we had BCs and KW. So the KWs oh, for true. an F ten that we had, they were true. two grand. We sold them for eight hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had a BC set. Uh, that actually the BCS set did go for a pretty penny, but that's because they're BCs. They were like, brand new BCs. Brand, brand new. new. Like literally look like. Yeah, they go. They go. You did, they wasn't even dust to wipe off. Like yeah, it, was it was brand cool. new. So, but yeah, so definitely check us out on Instagram. Give us a follow on there. Uh, make sure if you guys want mods, that's where we're gonna be posting most of our mods from all these cars that we get. So definitely stay tuned on there. I think now with that being said, go ahead subscribe down below. Give us a like. We'll see you guys in the next one. We will see you guys. Next M, another M car, boys. Next M car video. I'm Hopefully we don't drop that off the forklift. <laughs> Shoot, bro, I forgot we dropped it. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Peace out.